my name is Sandile Mkulisi Kumalo. I live in, in Msunduza. I'm 26 years old. I'm currently studying at the University of Swaziland, uh, a degree in social sciences, and I'm a gospel hip hop artist. Uh, the name switch came about when I was still young, me and my friends, you know, we had a lot of plans growing up. And um, I used to change a lot of plans me and my friends had, you know, so one of my friends once said, I'm probably going to switch the plans that we have on our daily basis. But then um, I think um, when I told my friends I wanted to do hip hop and be a rapper, they, they told me that you're probably going to want to switch that again. So I was just like, uh, maybe the name Switch makes a whole lot of sense. Um, I was a mainstream artist um, back in the day. I used to rap with my friends and we used to rap about a whole lot of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we rapped about the girls, the booze and the crazy <laughs> weekends. Yeah. So um, until I got saved around about 20, the year 2010, and I was like, okay, maybe now that's good because I was in church. I wanted to actually showcase my talent because mm -hmm. I really loved hip hop and I really loved to rap. I didn't want to quit that even if I was a Christian. Mm -hmm. So I got exposed to Christian hip hop. I was like, well, that is where I want to be. Then, yeah, I got there. Then that's how I switched to gospel. Um, I go to the Alliance Church in Babani. Um, my pastor's Reverend JV Mazibubo. Um, he's like a great pastor. I feel like if my pastor didn't give me an opportunity back then, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here. Because when I was starting, I was very much afraid of how people are going to receive yeah, yeah. what I do. Yeah. So, um, Mazibugo was more or less like throwing me in a pool of sharks. It was like, anytime there was a church conference with a lot of people, like, I want you to perform. The Alliance Church in Babani has very much been supportive throughout my whole career. Like, they buy my CDs. Parents buy their children my mu uh, my CDs and my music, so it's well, it's like a whole family for me, and I'm happy to be where I am right now. And actually, not only being switched in church, but also being um, a child of God in that church. When I first won the award back in 2013, um, I was just like on the come up because I just released my album um, in the year 2012. So 2013, I'm winning Artist of the Year hip-hop artists of the year against like Swaziland's well-known artists, your courtesy of hip-hop, your mosaic, and they decided to give Switch the award and I was gospel and the National Arts and Culture Awards are not actually gospel awards, you know, so mm -hmm. I was just that 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 guy that had just won hip-hop artists of the year and he rapped about God. <laughs> and uh, it was really like a crazy moment, yeah. but when I won it in 2015, like I, w I had lived, you know, I'd rapped uh, more, I'd, I'd, you know, traveled more. So more more people knew about me now. So winning the award was just like, okay, Switch is actually a problem. Switch is actually one artist that even if he raps about God, but he's giving mainstream rappers, um, you know, uh, the time, they run, they run for their money, yeah, yeah. they run for their money and uh, they cannot sleep on me. Being at the Crowns was like a great experience because the other year I was watching the Crowns and my mom was telling me, you you, you should be there, you know, wow. I believe if you can get to meet Magen Bogazi, the, the founder of the Crowns, you, you could go far. I was just like, ah oh, man, that's another dream. But uh, I think because I do what I do and it's so much different from anybody else, um, I got the opportunity to meet Magen Bogazi. She wow. liked my music. She called me out to come to not only the Crowns, I was also in Pretoria to do the Trumpet Africa Gospel Music Awards. Oh, wow. So I was there and I got to go to the Crowns, travel to Botswana, still on that same wave. So being at the Crowns, I was backstage chilling with like all the artists that I look up to, your Dr. Dumis. I was performing with Kayam Tetua. I was chilling backstage with Jesse Kangosi. Like all these people I was able to mingle with and just talk about music and actually build relationships. So um, for me, it was like a great experience. Like I was that I felt like a superstar for wow. once in my life, like from the hotel to the stage mm -hmm. and how you have people just taking care of you and making sure that you, you, you're, you're okay, even if you're from Swaziland. But if <laughs> you're on that stage, they give you mad respect. I, I want to do rap for now because I, I, I love it very much. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the, the reason I'm also at school is because I really want to, you know, see where I can get to with the, with the future and actually tackling in politics in, in the country.
Mm-hmm. And actually, learners as much as getting a PhD or a master's. But then, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I still have one album left in me. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll release that album the day I graduate. So the day I graduate, I'm releasing my last and final album. I, I just want to do a lot, man. I, that, it doesn't only has, have to be only on my music side. But in the, in the next years, I, I want to be that graduate who's pursuing politics, maybe as, as a rapper, but I don't want to rap. Uh, yeah, when I'm old, yeah. <laughs> Once I reach 30, I feel like I'm going to be just a grown man. And like, I really want to change Msunduza as how people see it right now. Mm-hmm. And when maybe I'll be the member of parliament um, in the next few years.